No, ultimately what it comes down is him to stop being a little bitch who's like, oh, approach anxiety, to man up and just start taking action. If not, give up, okay? Give up. If you're not man enough to take responsibility, you're, you're, like, you're probably not man enough to just like spread your genes. It's like fucking man up, okay? Or find ways to man up. Put yourself in a situation that just forces you, where you just don't have a choice. Where you, no matter what your emotions say, you have to fucking do it, like the gun to the head, okay? Think of skydiving, for example, okay? Say you're like super, super scared of jumping out of a plane. Okay, super fucking scared. And your emotions are telling you don't fucking do it, and there's no way in hell you'd even go do it. Like you're like, I'm never gonna do that. I'm never gonna skydive. But what if some someday some guys like your friends just took you, threw you on the fucking plane, okay? And they're like, there's no way you're not doing it. If you don't jump, you know, uh, all your family dies or something like that. You're like, holy shit, so you're on the plane, and you know that no matter what, there's like a gun to your head, you're gonna have to jump. Okay? You'd be like, you know what, fuck it, you're just still gonna do it regardless of your emotions, okay? Because you don't have a fucking choice. You like, find things that like trigger you. Find ways that just force you to take action where you think that you don't have a choice. Okay, you really need to put yourself in a situation where it's like, I gotta do it, and there's no option not to do it, okay? There is no option not to do it. Because if you think you have a choice not to do it, you're just never gonna do it. Okay, you're gonna rationalize as much as you want. Be like, you know what, what's because of this? It's because of a fucking responsibility thing. He doesn't know me, I'm different, I'm cut from a different cloth, blah, 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 and just find ways not to fucking do it. It's like, take fucking responsibility. And, and it lives inside of you. It's the fueling, fueling, whimpering, simpering, whining, uh, anxiety risk. Lay down for a little longer. Let's just put it off till tomorrow to go to the gym. Let's put it off till tomorrow to go outside and run. Let's put it off till tomorrow due to the push ups. Let's put it off till tomorrow to tell that fuck face to get the fuck out of our lives. Let's put it off till tomorrow. And if you're like me, every time that voice comes, your mind, you'll think, how many fucking tomorrows do I have? How many tomorrows have I put off? You'll find that you'll, you'll, you're, you're, you're surrounded by stacks of, of tomorrows that have become yesterdays, surrounding you like rotting fruit, and you just keep stacking those days onto that pile of rotting fruit as you lay there, surrounded by the float flies, the demonic forces that whirl around you in the form of unpaid bills, belly fat, bad friends. You gotta wake the fuck up. Fight the fight, or die. Or just fucking die. But I would prefer that you stay alive. Make your move before you're ready. Yeah, Price Pitcher is a, a great, great motivator and, and, and trainer. He said, make your move before you're ready. We're in, instructed in, in life to walk by faith and not by sight. See, you want to really begin to stretch yourself. You want to become a risk taker. You want to raise the bar on yourself. Most people won't do that. See, most people engage in low life living, low risk living. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. And if you cannot become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? I like what Helen Keller said. Life is short and unpredictable. Eat the dessert first. And so you want to begin to take some chances.